Hello, welcome at this Premiere Pro CS5 tutorial. This is an overview of the XML exchange between Final Cut Pro and Premiere and vice versa. There's a similar workflow between Premiere and Evit. More information on that can be found in the online help. I'm now inside Final Cut Pro. I have a sequence here which is a brief promo for a museum. There are a few things happening in this sequence that I want to point at. For instance, this shot over here has a speed change of around 50%. Also, there is a logo coming in at the end, right at the bang of the cannon. So this logo has animation keyframes on it in here. And also, there is a marker placed here to synchronize the uh, audio effect in that's placed on track three and four. So all in all, a relatively simple edit, but still it would take you time to rebuild all this in Premiere. So let's see how we get this sequence to Premiere. You go to File, Export, XML. Accept the defaults, choose a name and save. Final Cut Pro has now exported an XML version of this sequence. If I now go to Premiere and in Premiere, go to File, Import, and just locate the XML, it will import that XML file. It will also make a report because not all features are translated. If you want to know exactly which features are supported, please check the Premiere documentation. Okay, let's see what the timeline looks like inside Premiere. Uh, all the footage came through. And here I have the sequence and I open the sequence and if I play this out seems like uh, everything went well uh, the uh, slow-mo came through you can see that it's set at 50% the speed here maybe check it even like this speed duration there it is and also at the end our loco effect is there and our marker is set so it looks like everything came through okay. So this is this is good. So let's now go back to uh, Final Cut Pro. I have another sequence that I created earlier in Premiere that also has some interesting effects. For instance, I have a zoom in on a photograph. And over here I have some uh, cross dissolves. And we have a name title. De natuur buiten de stad maakt het zo uh, uniek. So if I want to export this sequence to Final Cut Pro, I have to create an XML. I go to File, Export, Final Cut Pro XML, and you see that there is also AAF for going to Avid. But now we're going to Final Cut Pro. I can save the uh, XML. It will again mention that there is a report. And if I go to my Final Cut Pro screen and via in Final Cut Pro I can import via import XML point to this document that was just created which is this one and say choose and now I want to warn you to use the settings you used in Premiere even though it says here auto my experience is that the auto may not do exactly what you expect it to and uh, so it's better to use the sequence setting that you have used in Premiere uh, and manually set it correct here. Except the default for the rest. It has now imported the uh, project and also this is something I want to point out that there's a small difference of what the XML file contains. Going from Final Cut Pro to Premiere, you only get the sequence that is selected or the items that are selected. If you go from Premiere to Final Cut, you get everything that was in the Premiere file. So right now I want to see how my edit came through. So I double click on it. And here I have my edit inside Final Cut. My um, photograph example works and uh, my cross dissolves came out fine. And also my title came out fine. Met de natuur buiten de stad maakt het zo, uh, uniek. 
And to illustrate that the other project with the cannon also came back, I can open that bin also and show it here. This file was sent from Final Cut Pro to Premiere and now back to Final Cut Pro using XML. Please be advised to consult the documentation for the exact compatibility of all features.